Hi, everybody. My name is Kristen. I'm one of our product support managers with House Pro. I'm excited to take you through House Pro today and show you some of our wonderful features. What I'm going to start off with is going over our leads. We'll go into the product clipper, how to create a project, and sending a proposal after that. So I will get us started by logging into House Pro and going over to our leads area. So by clicking into leads, see all leads, we'll be able to get into our leads area. And anytime you have a lead coming from House Pro, it will automatically show up here in your leads tab. If you have any other leads that you would like to import, you can certainly do that. We have the import leads tab in the top right corner to import by a file or from your email. And we can always click create new lead in the top right corner as well. So I can see my list of leads here by looking at lead name, the stage, client name, the last contact, and created at date. So for now, I'll click create new lead from the top right corner. I can add in my lead name and my client name. And if I'd like to add in any more details, I'll click add more details and I can add a full scope of project, description, estimated budget, a lot of other information. So I can add all of that in, but let's say I'm in a hurry. I will go ahead and add this a little bit faster just by clicking our blue button in the top or in the bottom right corner. So now that we are in our lead, I'll be able to see all of the functionality. I can quickly create a proposal, create a floor plan, add a note or add a call log. And from here, we can type in a message. So if I wanted to manually type out a message to my client or to my prospective lead, I can type that in. We can do this as an email or click the text button in the bottom right if I wanted to send that as a text message. And beyond this, we also have templates in the top right corner. These are preloaded by House for interested, unavailable, and not a fit. We can click customize templates to customize any of these templates already existing. And I can always create new to have my own unique template show up in here. So let's say I'm in a hurry. I don't have time to uh, create a full custom message. I'll go to my templates and let's say I'm interested in this lead. I'll go ahead and enter in their email address at the to line and we can send the message. And the great thing is this will send as an email. So my client will have a record of this in their own email inbox and I will have my record within House Pro. So from the beginning of time, all of our messages from here on out will be recorded in the lead section. And you can see at the bottom, we have the ability to attach a file, add a picture, have different formatting options and add in a link. So it's a very advanced and very user friendly uh, portal that we have for you. And in the top right corner, we have the stage drop down menu. So I can manually tag this along the more in uh, progress and in conversation I go with my client. So if I followed up, I can move it to this stage and the more we go, so connected, meeting schedule, and proposal sent. So let's say this lead and I have had a great conversation. We both agreed to go into full on project. I can click convert to project, the blue button in the top right corner, and click on convert. And the great part about starting with a lead is that all of the lead information will carry over to my project. So if I added a full scope of project, all of my messages will be carried over here. So any detail that you have with the lead once converted to a project will remain and carry over. And if I needed to add any other details or edit anything, we can click edit in the top right corner and I'll be able to edit any of the information that I need to. So let's say I needed to add in my project type, you can customize a project code, enter in financial details such as the budget given. So you'll be able to add any of those details here. 
And in the top right corner, you can see all changes are saved. So if that looks great to me, I'll go ahead and click back and take me back to my project. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do now that I have a client and a project is download our Clipper tool. So the way we can do that is by going to help in the top right corner, accessing the help center. And from here, I'll type in Clipper so we can go ahead and access the Clipper to download this. So how to download Clipper is the first uh, article that we're seeing right here. And the first step that we're going to do is download the Clipper by clicking that hyperlinked here button. And an important note about our Clipper is that it's a Google Chrome extension, meaning that it will only work in Google Chrome. So assuming I'm in Chrome right now, I'll be able to start using this. I already have the Clipper downloaded, but for all of our first time users, the blue button will say add to Chrome. So you'll click on that. You'll see that it will start to download and all of the steps on how to get that downloaded are right here within that help guide that you'll have access to. So we'll go ahead and get us into our clipper now. So we can see I have this blue ivy leaf blue clipper in the top right corner. And if I wanted to use this and start adding products into my House Pro Gallery, I'll go ahead and open up a product from House Marketplace but this does work on all other websites. So if you would like to uh, clip from anywhere else on the web, this will be able to work and grab photos and product information from any of your other sourcing places. And our clipper is amazing. It will save you time. It will have all of your products stored in one place inside House Pro. So the first thing that I'm going to do is hover over that big photo. And now I'm going to see this blue leaf icon, which is our clipper. So I'll go ahead and click on that and it will automatically start adding the information in from house. So I have my photo of the image here. I have the product title and I can manually add any other information that I would like to. So if I highlight the cost right here, I can go ahead and add that in. If I have a markup for this item, I can type that in as well. So let's say I wanted to add a 20% markup. I'll go ahead and click on that blue calculator and I can type in any of these numbers as well. So let's say my trade discount unit cost is $198, but I know that this normally retails for $450. This will now calculate out my profit and my client's savings. So I'll go ahead and click the blue set button and you can add any other information that I'd like to as well. So if I wanted to copy some of the uh, text here, I'll go ahead and choose from this drop down menu and I can say that this is going to be my client description and that will automatically fill to the client description. And once I have all the information that I want, I'll click our blue button at the bottom to save this. And now it will be saved in my product gallery. So I'll take us back into House Pro and I'll go back to the project we were working on. And now we can create our first proposal. So our proposal tab is right up top. I can create my first proposal from the middle of the screen here. And by clicking on this, I'll be able to start adding to my proposal. So I can go from library, the blue button in the top right corner, and this will allow me to start adding in items once I click on that lamp icon, the second icon here on the right. So I'll go ahead and start adding these in just by clicking on my products. I can also go to services at the top and I can choose from my services gallery. So if I have a fee for sourcing and a fee for my design fee, I'll add those in and I'll get to the top of our proposal here. So I'll see that all of these fields are editable. So if I needed to rename this title for my client, I can go ahead and do that. If I need to add a description, this is where we can add this in. Clicking on that blue box, 
and we can add various pieces of information like the color, dimensions, material, room, the quantity you can update as well, the unit type. We'll leave that as pieces, but if I needed to, I could add in a unit type so I can customize those and have a unit type to choose from again and again. The cost, which again will be my client's cost, or excuse me, my cost that I bought this uh, for my trade discount. The markup amount that I'm seeing here, and then the total will be the amount including shipping. So I can go ahead and type in our shipping amount here. If I have a shipping markup, I can add that in as well. And I'm now seeing that $230 amount, including my shipping. And if I scroll all the way to the right, I'll be able to see the tax settings. I can choose if the item or the shipping or both are taxable. So I can all go ahead and select those. And I can make any of the following updates for all products and services listed out down here. And if I decide against any of my items, let's say I wanted to delete the white marble coffee table, I'll click the box to the left, scroll up to the top of my uh, proposal that we're working on. I can click on remove items and remove that. So now it is no longer listed. <laughs> We also have the option to customize this blue button at the top. So I can turn on or off any of these settings. So if I wanted to disable images, we could turn that off. The same thing goes for description, product details, room, and approve per item, which allows my client to say yes or no to any of the items that I'm putting on our proposal here. So however you want to set this up is how you'll be able to have that saved for your client. And I'll scroll down to the bottom. We'll be able to see all of our totals here, the markup, shipping, subtotal, tax, you can go ahead and select an existing rate or create a new rate here. And I'll see my total at the very bottom. Beneath that, we have payments. So I can either set up a payment schedule or request a deposit. So for our example, I'll go ahead and schedule payment. And let's say I wanted my client to pay this in two installments. I'll click on schedule a payment again, that bottom left button. I can name my payments. Go ahead and click that blue box, type in the amount. I can set this per dollar amount or by a fixed percentage. I can select the payment methods that my client can pay me by, the terms of payment, and our due date. So this is all set by you. It's totally up to the way you want this to be done and handled by your client. Beneath that, we have files, so I can upload any files such as a contract or images terms and conditions, I can type those in. And the same thing goes for a memo. And you'll see both terms and conditions and the memo have the option to add in templates. So I can go ahead and add those in and choose from them over and over again, just like we did in the lead status. And if we look to the right, I'll be able to see our balance, the payment due, and below that is our activity stream. This will show me any action taken on our proposal. So anytime an action such as approved per line item being turned on happens, we'll be able to see that here. I can also see anytime my client opens the proposal, if they pay it. So those will all be recorded in the activity stream. And whenever I am done editing this and it looks great, I'll go up to preview and share the blue button in the top right corner. And this will allow me to preview before I send this. So we have all of our options on the right. I can turn any of these boxes on or off. By default, the markup breakdown will be off. But if you want to be transparent, you can turn it on, which again is very optional, totally up to you. The ability to show quantity and unit, show item info, and the ability to require an e-signature. My client will see their payment schedule. 
And now at the bottom left, my client will see that they are required to e-sign this in order to move forward. So if I wanted to send this by email, I would type in my client's email address. I can choose to send a copy to myself. And that is the way that we are able to send this off.